Hello Technology Grays here and today we're going to be building a Hackintosh. Now what is a Hackintosh? Well, it's basically a Mac computer that you build your own. So you get to pick your own parts, you get to build it all yourself uh, and assemble it and install Mac on it. Uh, so in a sense it's sort of like a PC with Mac on it. Now the reason why people build Hackintoshes over going to buy a Mac is that it's quite a bit cheaper. As you know, Macs are extremely expensive and they have okay parts, but you're really building, you're really buying the Mac. Uh, so for laptops, it's worth it because it's, you get a really nice build, you get like light computer. Um, but for bigger machines, especially desktops, it's definitely worth it to check out the Hackintosh. Uh, just because you get to pick your own parts, so you get to go a lot faster for a lot cheaper. Uh, the only catch is it's really hard. So this is for advanced users only. Um, I don't suggest be beginners doing it. Um, but if you're thinking about building the Hackintosh, please watch these videos first uh, to make sure that you're committed. And um, yeah, it is easier with a tutorial. So that's why I'm giving it to you guys today. Okay, so the very first step of building the Hackintosh, one of the most important steps too, is picking compatible parts. Because you want to pick parts that are compatible with Mac OS X already. Uh, so to find a list, go to TonyMacX86.com. Links will be in the description. You definitely want to bookmark this website because it has everything you need to build a Hackintosh, including guides, forms, downloads, and everything. We're going to be covering that later in future tutorials. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the buyer's guide. I'm going to click on the latest guide here. He's always updating it with the newest parts. And here we have different builds. So we have the cheapest, smallest build, uh, the mini build. And then we have the most expensive, craziest, fastest Hackintosh that money can buy. Uh, so you want to slowly go through this whole page. It describes what each build is. And um, one important thing that you should take into consideration is if there's a K after the CPU, that means that you can overclock it. So that means you can overclock the frequency past the base frequency that they sell it at. So that's important to know. Um, also, it's, what's important to know is not all boards have built-in um, graphics cards. So if your board does not have a built-in graphics card, you have to buy a graphics card compared to a board here, uh, which has a built-in graphics card. So that's something to take a note to. Also, if you want to overclock, you want to make sure that you have good cooling. So liquid cooling is definitely an option, too. Uh, scrolling farther and farther down, you get more and more options and more and more money wasted on crazy parts, uh, especially these graphics cards. These graphics cards are like 600 bucks each. Um, so you want to pick wisely. You don't want to pick like what you will never use, but you want to pick something that uh, will, will it will stay around for the ne next few years. Because while buying a computer, you never want to go the cheap way. You always want to take the more expensive route. Now, once you finally pick your parts, uh, I would suggest taking the motherboard and just copying it and Google how to make a Hackintosh and then paste that motherboard name right there, like I've done right here. And we can actually click and find different guides of different people actually uh, using that motherboard to create Hackintoshes. And they actually go through how to build it, which parts they used, which is also very handy, and how to install it, how to get the USB ready, and what to click, where to click, and when to click it. So uh, if you can find a, a tutorial sorry, um, that would really, really help. I'm going to be making my tutorial, but I can't cover every single motherboard. So if you can find one already out there, it just it basically securely lets you know that <laughs> that your board is compatible with Mac OS X, uh, especially with the LG 2011. You won't find lots of guides because lots not a lot of people um, have done it. So if you can't find a guide, it's not the end of the world. You can follow mine. Just prepare. If you don't have a guide, prepare for lots and lots of hours of troubleshooting. Uh, but if you already have a guide, then it's like one hour, hopefully. No, it will never be one hour. They say it will take one hour, but it will never take one hour. Anyways. I guess that's the end of this video of picking parts. Next video, we're going to be putting together Hackintosh, which is basically the same as putting together a CPU or a P PC. Um, but it should be pretty fun. So if you've never put together a computer, please check that out. Uh, the playlists are in the description for the how to build a Hackintosh. So please stay tuned for that. Anyways, I guess that's all. Have fun picking parts. That's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.